Hey friends, it's Nancy Jacobs from Embroidery It at EmbroideryIt.com. And several of you have asked me, Nancy, how did you embroider the names on a purchased stocking? And I'm going to show you, guys, it's not difficult. It just really takes some patience to get it all lined up. That's the whole secret. So you have your stocking and the first thing you need to decide is which side you want to embroider on. That's the first thing. Now we're going to lower the camera. I'm going to switch cameras here so you guys can see here. We need to find the placement of the center of the cuff. So get your acrylic ruler out where you can measure, you know, measure the field of your cuff and locate the center. Once you've located the center, then take a straight pin marking it through the center and, and be accurate on this. I, that, I wasn't accurate there, but, but I want you to be accurate. And note that the head of the pin is the top of the font, of the top of the writing here. So we, we've got it marked here at the center. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our stocking inside out. And what I want you to note here too is on the back side, at least on my stocking, there is a lining material here that's very slick. So we're going to have to deal with that in just a minute as well. So we'll turn our stocking inside out. And this is why it's really important to remember to mark your stocking because once that stocking is inside out, you forget, okay, was I going to embroider on this side? Was I going to embroider on this side? What's the top? What's the bottom? So now we know because we've got that little pin in place that's telling us this is the top of our font. All right, the next thing that we need is we need stabilizer that is sticky back. And if you have a small acrylic ruler, this is very helpful. Your, your embroidery hoop has markings on it that show where the center is. And if you have a, a smaller acrylic hoop that will fit inside, or a smaller acrylic ruler that will fit inside the hoop, mark your center so you know right where the center is on the sticky back stabilizer. Now, we're going to carefully line up the center of the pin here where our center is with the center of our hoop. And pull the back side of your stocking away because you don't want to stitch the back to the front here. And the placement on here is the tricky part. It really is. Now, like I had told you, there's a lining here. So the only thing that's going to stick to the stabilizer is the lining. The knit portion on here is not going to stick and it's going to want to shuffle. So the way you deal with that is you need a few straight pins. And what I do is once I've got it placed and make sure you've got it even. Okay, May, use your ruler and measure that you've got it even to the edge because if it's cattywampus, then your name is going to go at an angle. So once you've got it straight on here, again, take your time. I cannot stress that enough. I put about four straight pins through to hold it. I put them down at the edges and I you want to remove the center one because you don't want to stitch through that, but put four straight pins to hold that knit to, or whatever the top of your stocking is made out of. This one happens to be knit. And set your machine on slow because you guys are going to want to watch this closely. You're going to want to make sure your needle is not coming near those pins. You're going to want to make sure that your stocking, the rest of your stocking is staying out of the way. But I put four pins in mine. 
and once I have it all on here then it's good to embroider but again that placement taking your time it's key so the back of my stocking is well out of is out of the way of the stitching it's pulled back out of the way here so the only thing it's going to stitch is that one cuff okay is it that easy it just takes time but it is that simple so i want to wish you all a very merry christmas thanks you guys for watching and i will be back with you soon so take care and thanks bye